United States policy of the war on drugs has not effectively reduced drug consumption. For decades, we've targeted suppliers by increasing the penalties for production and distribution in order to make drugs difficult to obtain. But the suppliers who are still able to produce and distribute, like drug cartels and gangs, earn immense profits. Instead, the United States could better achieve its goals by focusing on reducing the demand for illegal drugs at home through strengthened prevention and decriminalization that opens up wider access to drug treatment options for addicts. Portugal's experience offers a successful example of decriminalizing small-scale drug use and possession, and expanding access to treatment to addicts without fear of arrest. Decriminalization is not the same thing as legalization. The end goal is to reduce drug use, not encourage its recreational consumption. Resources spent on disrupting supply and paying for costly incarceration should instead be used to support drug demand reduction and treatment efforts.